October 7th, 2023. In the morning, this day is known in history as Operation Al-Aqsa Flood. Hamas fired over 5,000 rockets in just a few minutes. The rocket was called Al-Qasam. The rocket was domestically made and very simple. These rockets usually use low-quality materials and methods, but they can still be harmful. In today's video, we will learn how the Al-Qasam rocket is launched, how it explodes, and its internals. Let's get started. Let's first learn about the structure of the rocket Al-Qasam. Its length is 2.5 meters and its width is 0.17 meters. This is the nozzle. The fuel burns and gas is released from here at a high speed, which helps the rocket move forward. This is called thrust. It was an unguided rocket, so it didn't have any control fins. It was the stabilizer fins that helped keep the rocket steady. This was the rocket body. Hamas made it out of steel pipes. They collected these kinds of steel pipes from the rubble of the city. Since they used solid fuel in the rocket, there was no need to use a separate fuel tank inside. The fuel could be loaded directly into the steel pipe. This is the warhead or explosive. The Al-Qasam could carry about 3, 10 kilograms or a little more of explosive. This is the nose cone. Its job is to help push the rocket forward by breaking through the air. It also has another important function, which is explained in the original video. When building a rocket, the first thing to consider is what fuel to use. Hamas chose sugar as its main fuel. Sugar is a carbohydrate-like organic substance that can be burned at high temperatures and converted directly from a solid to a gas. Again, providing the necessary oxidizer can result in rapid combustion. Hamas used potassium nitrate as an oxidizer along with sugar. This type of rocket fuel is made by mixing 65% potassium nitrate and 35% sugar into a fine powder, which Hamas produced domestically. To launch a rocket, you need a special kind of launch center, but they had very few. They made it very simply out of aluminum, which is light in weight and very easy to carry. The angle of the rocket launch was easily changed by moving the front part up or down. Let's see a step-by-step -step rocket launch. Step 1. The rocket is connected to the battery with electrical wires. High-voltage electricity is supplied from the battery. The high-voltage electricity ignites the solid fuel inside, that is, it starts to burn. Then, the rocket leaves the ground at high speed, moves towards the target, and explodes. Let's look at the launch again. This rocket was an unguided rocket. That is, the rocket could not be controlled in any way after launch. Its control fins were fixed to the body. That is, the control fins worked as stabilizers for the rocket. So, sometimes the target would be missed due to wind flow. Sometimes the rocket would hit its own launch center. Such accidents would only occur if the wind was blowing from the opposite direction at high speed during launch. Step 2. Let's analyze how this rocket explodes. This is the nose cone, behind which a spring is attached to the mechanism or it can also be called a trigger. And there is another part inside, which is called the explosive booster material. Now, when the nose cone comes into contact with an object or target, the spring mechanism of the nose cone hits the explosive booster material, much like the trigger of a gun. After that, first the explosive booster, and then the main explosive in the rocket explodes. 
If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.